Goldman Sachs predicts AI is going to replace up to 300 million jobs over the next five years. But hey, I'm going to show you nine barely known AI tools for 2025 that unlock hidden opportunities and help you gain a competitive edge so you can stay employed and even thrive over these next few years. All right, let's dive in. Here's the thing. Generative AI definitely could replace 300 million jobs. It probably will. It's already starting to. It's not something that's going to happen in the future. This is actually something that's already happening. AI is no longer just a tool for writing and creating images and stuff like that. That's where it started and it was really neat, but it's really expanded beyond that. There's been massive progress in how the AI is being used thanks to a lot of creative thinkers. And so it can do things now like answer calls, book appointments, send text messages, answer your DMs on your social media, and a variety of other marketing tasks just to start. Okay, so it truly can replace jobs now, but just like a hammer, it's just a tool and you still have to have people who know how to operate it in order to do anything useful with it. And so that's where you can come in. You can look at these tools and think, not only how can I use this to help me save time, but you can also be thinking, how can I leverage my knowledge of how to use this tool into a business and make myself employable and actually thrive and make a lot more money over these next five years because you know how to use the tools and lots of other people won't know. Okay, so let's take a look at what are my top nine AI tools for 2025. Okay, so the first one are what are called GPTs. And these are just something that you can use and create right inside of OpenAI inside of ChatGPT. Okay, so if you're a subscriber in there, you can basically go in and create your own personal GPTs. And what these are is just... Uh, little GPTs that are trained specifically around uh, your own documents and videos and images and text and recordings and stuff like that. And so they can become your own like personal assistant. Now, what a lot of people have started using these for over the past year is just copywriting and helping people write emails and stuff like that, which are like just barely extensions over what you could do in ChatGPT to begin with. But what's really cool with these is if you actually train them on doing stuff that's useful for you. Like, for example, I am a product manager for an API and we have all these documents and all these data points that are contained in the API. And I uploaded all of these and created a GPT, which I don't know if I was really supposed to do this, but I created one because I get all these questions all the time about the data and all the little numbers and, and values and stuff like that are associated with the data. And so I created my own GPT. So now instead of looking up this info in spreadsheets, because there's thousands of data points, I can basically just ask ChatGPT and I can even have it create sample queries for me, which people ask for a lot. And so it's really learned from the documentation and now I can actually ask it to do all these tasks for me. And you could do that too, right? So think outside the box. This isn't just a writing tool. You can actually upload all this information that you have, including like spreadsheets of data, and then ask it for analysis of the data. You can ask it just for specifics about the data that you don't have to know all the time. And what's really cool is you can access it from your phone. So I get asked these questions sometimes when I'm out and about, I'm not at my laptop. So instead of having to pull spreadsheets up on my phone, you get it. All right, number two, let's dive in. All right, thought spot. Now, digging a little, or, or just going a little further that with the concept from number one, where we're having to upload data, thought spot has basically created uh, intelligence tool. Okay, so stick me with me here because there's going to be a lot of cool options or, or AIs that you're going to see over the next few minutes. And I wanted to bring this one up. Not all of us are going to find this useful, but I thought this was cool to mention because just like this GPT where I've uploaded a bunch of data and spreadsheets in there, these guys have basically created a GPT and made it for sale that 
takes all this data, but then they've built a dashboard on front of it. So if you help organizations, for example, as a consultant or something, how cool would it be like if you can use this and collect all this data that you already have about companies and stuff like that, that you're working with and give them a dashboard where not only can they ask questions about their data, but they can actually see it on a cool presentation. Now browse AI number three, this is a cool one because if you are in the business of running an agency or you're working like B2B, like you're constantly looking for new business leads and stuff like that, or your team are, or you're thinking about working with businesses in a way that could help them, whether you're like a freelancer or that kind of thing, Browse AI is basically a scraper tool, which scraper tools have been around forever, scraping websites and getting data off of them. And so this isn't an uh, improvement on that front, but basically Browse AI adds like a little more intelligence. And so not only can you just scrape the data, but it also can like enrich the data, right? Like you could also be using this if you're in e-commerce, right? So if you wanted to consult with e-commerce companies and help them do competitive analysis so that they know their competitor Shopify stores, like what all is their inventory? What all t-shirts do they have available or et cetera? Then you can use this kind of tool to get all of that data instead of having to manually hire a VA to go and do that. So that's a cool one. Now, number four. Okay. Now let's say that you have a business or you want to help businesses with expanding, right? So let's say you've got a business and you're thinking about expanding and offering a new product, or maybe you want to open a new location, something that's going to require you going to the bank, right? Pro AI is something that helps create business plans. Okay. And so this AI tool will basically help you go through and write business plans. Either you can do this for yourself, right? If you need it, or you can help people with this and offer it as a service, as a consultant, like I mentioned, and it will help you with the financial forecasting and all this stuff and make writing the business plan and going and maybe going to the bank and getting a loan uh, to expand and open a new location or that kind of thing. They help make that process a lot easier getting all those documents together, which you're going to need if you're going to go and ask for money. And so that is a super cool one. And like I said, this isn't something that a lot of people are thinking of. This isn't the mainstream marketing AI tools, right? So the next one, number five. Now, we all know that like website builders have been around for going on two decades, right? And so... People are still getting websites built all the time. People are still paying anywhere from five bucks on Fiverr to thousands of dollars to get websites built. And so it's still a viable business model. And these guys at Durable have basically gone out and created an AI tool that creates the code and makes a whole like visually beautiful website for you. And AI does the whole thing. So you like don't even have to be a coder anymore to create websites. Okay. So Durable is just one, like they're basically self-contained like a Wix or something like that, but there are other website builder AI tools out there. And so you could easily start a business building websites in 2025 and do well with it. Right. And not have to be somebody who knows how to code or design or any of that stuff. If you can just type some prompts and get people what they want, as far as a website, then AI can do a lot of the hard work for you. And you can just basically bring in the recurring revenue for the hosting, right? Super good business model in 2025, great way to use AI. And Durable's a cool one, right? And by the way, I don't get, I'm not affiliated with any of these companies. I don't get any kickback or anything like that for recommending these. I just think these are cool based on my knowledge of AI and what's out there right now. Now, here's a cool one. Okay, so going back to number one where we were uploading our data and having a bunch of research, well, Spotter Studio, what they have is basically they have taken like millions of YouTube videos into kind of a database with a GPT on top of it for analysis. And so if you're into a YouTube channel and building that out and having like great videos that are going to get tons of views and traffic and, and that kind of thing. If you need help with scripts, if you're 
in that video sphere, then Spotter Studio is basically a tool that will help you with the script writing. It will help you analyze all your competitors and all the video competitors for a keyword and just tons of important information to help you get really the maximum amount of money and views and stuff like that that you can get out of videos. So if you're into video and stuff, then Spotter Studio is a super cool one to check out. And it saves tons of time because while you can do the same research and analysis using a GPT, you, you would have to be the one to kind of collate all the videos and data you want analyzed. And what they've done is put that all together, make it easy to find and analyze the competitors and the, the video types that you want to look at. So they've built a service right on top of AI and just uploaded a bunch of data and then they build a interface on it that you can use, right? Number seven, so sticking with the visual stuff, I wanted to bring in Canva AI here. I love Canva, I've been a long time user. I've been in their premium plan forever and I use it every day. I use it for all my clients, I use it for myself and you and my kids use it. I've got them on a, a team plan. Um, Canva AI, basically what Canva does, if you don't know, it's basically a graphic design tool and it's great for people like me who suck it design but got tired of trying to hire freelancers and have them stick around and be affordable and, and all that stuff. Canva is just super easy to use for creating everything from social media to ads to logos and whatever. And they've added an AI in there which makes it possible to create presentations and social media posts and stuff like that without having to come up with all the ideas yourself. They've still got all the visuals in there so it's not really like an image generator so much as it is having a content AI to help you write content for your presentations, to help you write content for ads, to come up with presentation slide decks and stuff that look really cool. So it's versatile and it's uh, worth checking out. Okay, and they've got a totally free plan. And if you do their premium, it's $12.95 a month. That's not bad at all. Number eight. Now, number eight is the one that I think is probably the most revolutionary thing that's been happening in the last three months of 2024 and going into 2025, this is just exploding already, okay? And that's voice agents, all right? So what I mean by voice agents is we're at a point with AI where we can basically leverage it as a receptionist. So at the beginning, I mentioned things like handling voice calls, like uh, phone calls, sending out text messages on your behalf and stuff like that. These voice agents, like you can demo this at AI Call Manager, which caveat, this is my business. This is my own software, but you can demo this uh, service at aicallmanager.com. It doesn't cost anything. You can just call it and see how it works and do a simulation. But the AI voice agent sounds like a person. And instead of it being like press one for English and press two for Spanish and going through this tree of different branches of answers and stuff like that, it just talks, right? And it collects your contact information and it can help set appointments and this is amazing, right? This is a huge step forward with AI and learning how to use these and program these to work for businesses is I think one of the biggest opportunities there is going into 25, 2025 and beyond. Okay, so check that out. And last but not least, number nine is HeyGen. Okay, so if you haven't heard of HeyGen, then basically what it is, let's say you pick up your phone, you get a new phone and you know how you have to train it so it has like your face ID and you just show your face and stuff. HeyGen works the same way. You send them a eight or nine minute video of you talking and reading some stuff and showing your face from different angles, moving your mouth and stuff like that. And then what they do is create an AI avatar that just is exactly your face and then it's stored in their system and then you can basically just feed in scripts, right? And like text scripts, like you just write a little script and then it'll make social media videos for you and stuff. So you can be a talking head on a video without having to change clothes, go sit in a studio and get some lights and have a nice microphone all the time and all that stuff and 
make 10 recordings so that you finally get the right one and all that. You just upload it into Hagen and it'll do it like perfectly every time. And you can change the backgrounds and you can change the clothes and stuff like that. It's crazy. And of course it's not perfect, but it's 90% there and it saves a ton of time if you're in business to create a bunch of social media and, and you wanna do that in those channels. Okay, folks, and I think if you want to stay ahead over these next few years, stay ahead of AI, learn these things, learn how to use them, become good at them, leverage them for yourself, learn how to leverage them for other people, and you can do really well. Don't be the person who gets replaced by these, be the person who masters these and can help others uh, benefit from them. Hey, listen, if you like this video and it gave you something useful, please give it a like down below. And if you're not already a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you on board, okay? Uh, subscribe button and we'll be doing more and more videos. So I look forward to seeing you in the next one. All right.